Hey, welcome back. I am so excited you're here. And I just want to thank you for listening every week, being a part of this community. I know you have a lot of things going on in your life. So my intention is to always make sure that when you listen, you're getting things that are valuable, that you're walking away with new ideas, maybe a change in mindset, maybe something that's going to inspire you. That's what Monday Morning Mojo is all about. It's about listening and connecting with a message that is going to put you on a new path maybe or help you to look at what you're doing in a different way. So it's exciting every week to share this podcast with you. You can also make sure that you are part of our Facebook group, which is Monday Morning Mojo, the podcast. So uh, we'll have a link to that in the show notes so that you can be a part of the community. I share content there uh, every day. So I'd love for you to be a part of that. And if you're finding value, definitely share this, pay it forward, let your friends listen, send them a link to your favorite episode, share the group with them. Um, my goal is to grow that community so that we can continue to connect and inspire each other. And I had this amazing opportunity just a couple of weeks ago. I was at a uh, Keller Williams National Conference, a real estate conference, and the keynote speaker was none other than Tony Robbins. And it was definitely a thrill to hear him speak live and in person. I've been following him for a long time, and I'm sure that you're all familiar with Tony Robbins. He's been helping people overcome their challenges for probably, I would say his career is probably at least 40, 45 years now. And um, I think he started in his early 20s. I think he worked for Jim Rohn. You probably know as an author and motivational speaker who has since passed away, um, but really one of the founding um, fathers, I'll say, of the personal development movement and really brought a lot of attention to positive psychology and helping people see through a different lens. And so Tony Robbins worked for Jim Rohn and uh, that really started him on his path. And so a lot of people refer to Tony Robbins as a motivational speaker. And he certainly does bring a lot of energy, as you all know, to what he does. But I will say that I believe he has worked really hard over the years as an entrepreneur um, and a motivational speaker to really become an advisor, to really become a teacher. And it was really quite a great experience to sit and listen to him. And I want to share some notes with you from my time with Tony Robbins. And he was right up front in uh, the section where I was sitting. And it was really a conversation about the choices we make in life. And that's where I'm going to start. And what Tony started with that day were uh, three decisions that we can all make. So I'm, I'm going to teach you uh, what I was taught that day, right from my own notes. And we'll put these questions also in the show notes for you, because I know a lot of times you're listening to this when you're driving. If you're like me, I listen to podcasts on the go all the time. So I get it. You might not be in a place to write this down, but we'll put it in the show notes. So there are three decisions Tony says we all make that control everything that we do. And the first decision or question in this case that you're going to ask yourself is this, what are you going to focus on? What are you going to focus on? Because what we know to be true is that whatever you focus on expands. And the more attention you put to something, the more energy you give it, it really gets bigger in your life. And so as you put the focus on something, focus becomes feeling, becomes emotion. And you have the power to make a decision right now about what you're putting your energy to. What are you putting the most amount of focus to? Is it serving you or not? Because if you change your focus, you will change how you feel and you will change your experiences. You'll change your outcome. So think about that just for a minute. What are you putting a lot of energy to? Because here's another thing Tony said. We don't experience life. We experience the life we focus on. So if you could make a shift right now, where should your energy and attention go? So the first thing he had us think about was how to control our focus. 
The second decision Tony says we can all make to control everything in our lives. Ask yourself, what does it mean? What does it mean? Whatever meaning you come up with will change your focus because we can all experience basically the same uh, situation, let's say, but the meaning we attach to it is going to be different. So what does it mean to you? What meaning are you coming up with? And when you do, could it change your focus? Because your focus or your thoughts will shape your actions and your actions are what's bringing you results in life. So the third question that we need to ask ourselves, or really it's a question that leads us to making a decision is this number three, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? See, we have to understand that we have control and we probably have more control than we want to acknowledge on most days. And yet a lot of times our focus can go to the things that are out of our control. So if we want to bring back our own personal power, then these three questions, these three decisions that we can make that can change everything really puts us back in that power position, puts us back in the driver's seat of our own life, right? And so those three decisions can change everything. What are you going to focus on? What meaning will you attach to it? And what are you going to do about it? Tony Robbins went on to share some other thoughts that I thought were really huge. And we've talked about some of these things here on Mojo before. He said that 80% of your success is mindset and 20% is strategy. So while there is a lot of value put to business planning, strategic planning, getting into a process of how to move from point A to point B, that is certainly going to be important. But what will determine your success more than your strategic plan is how you're thinking about it, how you're thinking about you and your ability, how you're thinking about your potential. That will have a bigger impact on your success than the strategy itself. And we see that's true all the time, right? Because we can all have the greatest business plans. I'll just take a step back and look at my own company, right? You all know that I am affiliated with Keller Williams. And so as a general manager of three large real estate brokerages, we talk about strategic planning all the time. We talk about business planning every day. And we have hundreds of thousands of agents across the country that all have access to the same information. They're all being encouraged and guided and coached to create these strategic plans and business plans, and many of them do. And yet, why is it that some achieve success at a higher level than others? We can look at that in any industry and find that it's true. And it's because it comes back to mindset. It comes back to the way that we are thinking because our thinking is what's shaping our reality. So remember, 80% of your success is mindset because when you change the way you think, you can change your life. You can convince yourself of anything. And so rather than taking a lot of time to convince yourself that something won't work out, can you take the same amount of time to convince yourself that it's all possible, right? So if we can focus more on what we can control, we can put our focus and energy on the things that we actually have the ability to change. When you focus a lot of your energy and your time on things you can't control, it creates stress, right? Because it, it makes us feel like we're helpless. So I think it's important for all of us to know if we're, we're determined to be people of achievement, if we're determined to create great outcomes for ourselves and for our businesses, our careers, and, and other personal areas of our life, then it's so important to pay attention to what you're giving a lot of energy to. That was the core message in the time that we spent with Tony Robbins. He probably spoke for almost 90 minutes. And it was all about the subject of focus because what you put energy to is really determining your results. So if you want to feel more fulfilled and more happy in life, if you want to feel more successful, where can you focus your energy on the things in your control? So Tony went on to talk a lot about 
what's happening in the world around us, right? Because we know that there are different things that we can consider difficult. There are things happening in our world that can be challenging. And yet he pointed out that that's always been true. He's pointed out that if we go back in time, we go back in history, there's always been difficult times. There's always been challenges in the government, the economy. There's been other types of plagues or illnesses that we've all had to live through historically. And I think that was such a great perspective because we can get thrown off and say that there's never been a time like this, but yet there has been. If we were to do the research and go back in history, we've seen it before. We've seen crazy political climates before, even dating back to the founding fathers. We've seen struggles in the economy. We've seen mass pandemics. We've seen wars. We've seen it all. And I think it's important for us to understand that not to normalize tragedy or not to normalize uh, chaos or difficult times, but for us to understand that we're designed to persevere. As human beings, we have the ability to overcome and we should never forget that. Even when we're going through something difficult, it's important for us to know that we have the ability to figure it out. And he also pointed out that our greatest success can come from tough times. And I know that's true, right? Because how hard do we really work when things are easy? How hard do we really plan and strategize when business comes to us, right? How strategic are we really being, right? How big do we think when we feel like we're achieving on a lot of levels or that our business is thriving, right? How motivated are we when times feel easy? So I think that that is really a huge aha, something to pull away. If, if, if you take one thing away from this podcast, it's that your greatest success will come from your toughest times that your adversity is here to teach you something, right? And it's important for us to realize that we have to expand our thinking and not be so short-term in our thinking, right? Because we have to look at the big picture. This is something I wanna quote from Tony Robbins. Most people think in the short term, they overestimate what they're going to achieve in a year and underestimate what they can accomplish in a decade. So what I think that Tony is saying is, if we can create a bigger picture around vision and goal setting, could we also see how much our lives could grow in the next several years? And that everything that we do starting today is progress, is moving us in that direction. Because remember this, your thoughts shape your actions and your actions bring results. So if you can be consistent with the way you think, if you can be consistent in what you do, you will see consistent results. And over time, that is what's gonna move you to your next level and beyond. I mean, think about where you were five years ago. Think about where you were 10 years ago. I guarantee you could see a lot of growth and movement. I certainly am not the same person I was five or 10 years ago. I'm not the same person I was six months ago. And so I love that he brought that into perspective too. So remember, you can take control of anything in your life when you make those three decisions that we talked about. What are you going to focus on? What meaning will you attach to it? And what are you going to do about it? Tony Robbins was really, I think, on point that day because he talked about what makes the difference in living a quality life, right? And really, what does that mean for you, right? Going back to that question is what, what meaning do you want to attach to it? So if we were to sit down with a hundred people in the same room and I asked the question, how do you define a quality life? I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear a hundred different answers because no one can determine that for you, but you. So that's an amazing question is how do I define a quality life. What is important to you? And remember that where you are now doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be there in another few years. You know, biography is not your destiny. Your previous 
circumstances or your current circumstances don't define who you are. The decisions you make are what define your future, not your past. So you can overcome anything if you put the right focus, if you make certain decisions that help you to move out of a situation so that you're no longer tolerating what's going on in your life, but you're manifesting new opportunities. The last thing I'm going to share with you today from my time with Tony Robbins was the conversation we had about patterns and how to understand that what's really a key to your success is the amount of energy you put into anything. Your emotional state is so important and your energy will affect those emotions. Think about it this way. You can't have high energy with low thoughts. And listen, I've always been someone who has been described as a, a person with high energy. I can't help it. It's who I am. It's how I show up. And I believe that energy is a tool. I can't destroy it. I can't create it, but I can certainly use it and I can certainly move energy around. And I believe I've come to learn and understand that everything is energy. And when you really understand that, and you also recognize that bringing in some energy into what you're doing will elevate your thinking, will open you up to possibilities, you'll see how you can use that as a tool for your own manifestation of what you want. So if you could use the energy in your body on a bigger scale, if you can change your energy, you can change your life. And what Tony talked about that day was really interesting. He said, we have gotten used to a lower level of energy being normal, maybe since COVID. So think about that for a second, right? I think that COVID has done, you know, a lot of things to change us. It's done some things to change the way we see the world. And, and that's a fair statement. You know, it was a traumatic experience for so many people. It was a major time in our lives. And I think that Tony's right. I think that some of us have gotten used to a lower level of energy being normal since COVID because we've allowed that sense of what other people are doing around us to bring our energy down because we think it's normal, right? Yet, if we could allow that to happen, could we reverse it? Could you be the catalyst that brings higher energy into a situation? And what is the benefit of that? Well, I think the benefit of that is that we all stop playing small and we stop really thinking about how to quiet it down or dumb it down. And we start to realize that, again, we're only here on this planet one time for a short amount of time, whenever that is, and we're not serving ourselves or the world by playing small. So when we do play small and we all start to follow suit, right? We're doing that because maybe it makes other people feel better or more comfortable. But at the end of the day, we're not living up to our full potential by doing that. So if you could get really, I think, connected and aware to the amount of energy you bring into something, if you could raise your energy level on a daily basis, right? If you could see that your energy has a positive impact on the people around you, what would start to change in your life? 